The mathematical symbol of today is the product symbol, written with a capital Pi. And in the same way as we have it for the sum symbol, we use an index below the letter Pi. So here, k starts with the value 1, goes through all natural numbers until we reach the value n in the end. Hence, the symbol here is a short notation for a product with exactly n factors. More precisely, we start with a1 times a2 times a3 and so on until we reach a n. Of course, a1, a2 and so on could be any numbers. The important thing is only that we have an index involved. On the left hand side we call it k, but of course any other name would do it as well. Now you can see the whole thing here as an explanation for the product symbol, but the formal definition should be given by a recursive definition. This means that we first have to explain what the empty product should be. In other words, what happens when we set n to 0. Then the explanation from above does not make any sense, because there are no numbers involved. Indeed, the only meaningful thing would be to set the empty product to 1. Because when we multiply with 1, we don't change anything. And now you might already know, for a recursive definition, we have to say what happens to the successor when we know the predecessor. This means that here on the right hand side we have the product that goes from k is equal to 1 to n minus 1 and we want to reach this product where k goes from 1 to n. And of course the only meaningful thing would be to multiply on the right hand side with a n. Ok, and that's the recursive definition. And of course, if we want, we can easily generalize this to other starting values. So, this is the product symbol. And if this was helpful, I see you in the next video. Bye!